2.16. What do I do if the individual disagrees with the goals I want set, or says that my standards are unreasonable, or that one of the key job responsibilities I've identified is not really part of the job? You're the boss. You set the standards. Tell me more. When a difference of opinion arises in a performance planning discussion, it's wise to begin the resolution process by listening. Ask the individual for her thoughts on the issue under discussion, inquire as to why she feels the expectations are too high or the task involved doesn't fall within her responsibilities. Restate in your own words what you understand the employee's position to be, if I hear you right, Alice. You feel that asking for a 16% increase in customer satisfaction results is too high a target. Is that correct? But this is not a meeting between equals. Left to their own preferences, many people will set their performance goals at levels they know they can comfortably achieve. Your job as the manager is to raise and keep raising the bar. Some people won't like you if you do that. They'll complain that you're unreasonable, that you're unfair. That's okay. Your job as a manager is to bring out the best performance that each person is capable of, and sometimes that requires making people uncomfortable. In well-managed organizations, managers are judged by the results that they produce, not by whether they are liked by all of their subordinates. Your job in the performance planning meeting is to clearly communicate exactly what your expectations are and what it's going to take for each person to be seen as a fully successful performer when performance evaluation time rolls around. While there is always room for discussion, negotiation, and compromise, in the end, your opinion prevails.